Welcome again to the ACE channel, where we look at some of the ACE products that are on sale from us. Remember, we sell anything from a connector to a radio mast, and all brands from Intel to Zotec. Let's have a look at what we'll be doing today. Right, so today we will be having a look at another Hytera product. It is the newly launched HP 605. I was recently on a launch of this product and I can tell you the new series from Hytera seems so nice. So I'm excited to review this. Um, there's a few other videos that will co be coming out over time on the new Hytera series. Stay tuned to find out and view them. This is a UHF version 400 to 527. Um, I mean, I can only use 400 to 470, so I will basically just speak about um, that. I see at the bottom it says the antenna that is fitted on here is a 400 to 470 antenna. Okay, so without any further ado, let's have a look and see what we have in the box. Okay, as normal, we have the little booklet, we have the device, um, we have the charger, I'll just get the stuff out, a full-size antenna, um, and the belt clip, the little strap, which I will not be taking out as I don't like that um, straps I cannot see why we use it okay <clears throat> let's have a look at the accessories first before we look at the radio once again the belt clip nice belt clip nice hook on it um, I'll come back to the belt clip now we'll look at the battery and the charger which seems slightly different full-sized antenna and let's see what we have the battery um, I see is a BP 2002 2000 mAh 7.4 volt what I don't like about this what I do like about it though is that the latch is on the battery and not on the radio I like that good idea guys thanks what I don't like about it is the fact that the belt clip latches onto the battery itself. I don't like that design, although it's a positive click there. It is easy over time for that part to start to wear out. And you think it is clipped in, or it is clipped in, but it is worn out. And you simply, if you've got this on your belt, the weight of the radio will make it come apart that's what I have a problem with very slimline batteries I must say okay if we look at the radio itself this one has a stick on which I won't be taking off as they were demo models supplied by Hytera thank you so much for loaning us these devices so we can do the review um, throughout the whole range it seems that these buttons are common first time I see that that one is actually marked as a power icon and um, they're all rubber except for that one which is plastic traditionally so and um, they all seem to have the same adapter and I think it also has Bluetooth um, if I am not mistaken I think this actually has built-in Bluetooth throughout the range um, HP 605 let's have a look a striking difference which I couldn't help to miss, uh, to mention, can't miss it, is the fact that you, that Hytera has moved the antenna from the middle to the side. Exactly why, I do not understand. Um, ah, I don't understand why they've done that. Um, we all thought that was the better position of putting the antenna, as I think they made us believe so. Um, and now it is totally different anyway the battery is on let's have a look and see it has a power button there the flickering of the screen is probably because of the camera the shutter speed of the camera um, is not 
exactly in sync so you see there is like a line going across it's not with the human eye it is not like that um, I'm looking past the camera and it's perfectly fine okay it has a nice display I think this is a crisp display you can see um, a mini display perfect for just an entry-level radio I believe these radios are high IP rating I will put it on the um, link below so you can see um, that if they stand up straight or being carried up straight the water will run out and not accumulate inside okay a new feature as far as I believe is also um, Bluetooth programming from your laptop you don't need a cable it could be an initial programming so you can activate that function but as far as I understand you don't need cables going forward and later on there will be a Bluetooth um, app for the phone for programming good work guys I really like that so yeah as from a ergonomic point of view the radio feels good in my hand sits good um, it is a big radio not not mini radio but it, it fits snugly in my hand without the um, belt clip okay when you key obviously um, you can see they all have a common LED there um, which is probably for transmit and receive and it, it brings up the channel details that you're on it's also probably all programmable the radio sits snugly on a table which I do like and yes let's have a look at the charger I think the charger arrangement will be similar for all models but nevertheless let's have a look at what we have there's the transformer part of it and as I can see um, they have changed the details on the transformer um, it is now 12 volt 1 ampere hour which means we'll need about two hours to get it full um, and two pin connector to the mains which I do not like but I like the fact that it has a standard DC socket which means that I can cut this cable, make myself a car charger, I can use it on a solar site for instance, perfect. Um, as mentioned before, there's DC 12 volt input, a standard DC socket. This model for the entry level radios are the CH10 L27 and let's have a look at the features. I see that the color of that is different to the other ones that I've reviewed and let's see how it works. If it has the same functionality as the other chargers, I will be moving the camera up slightly and let us see. Plug it in there and the first thing we will be having a look is what does it do when we plug it in. There you go, it flashes and while it is plugged in, it will actually be flashing the whole time once every I don't know three or five seconds guys I like this this gives me so much information while the radio is just sitting or the charge is just sitting there not being used I now know that the transformer is working I know it is plugged in I know that the cable is working and the charger is most probably also working it sits there waits for you to put the, the, the radio in um, also always a snug fit it thinks up for a second or so and then it goes to steady red i think it becomes green when it's full and yeah it's a good feature i like it especially if you have something like a solar site or a dc charger from a car um, it's a fairly snugly um, and even if it's lying on its side it will still charge um, they are really decent the the radio sits in there and even with some slight movement it will stay on okay so for now I think that is the review that we've got for the um, Hytera HP 605 uh, it is such a nice new device I like the shape of the radio I like the feel of the radio I even like the little display that they've got there okay there you go guys thanks for watching uh, yes before I go let's look at the antenna performance on this as
as we've done with the others um, and for this test we will be using our antenna analyzer the um, The antenna details says that this is a 400 to 470 antenna. I do not know the part number of it. There is no other markings on the antenna except for that little ring at the top there. Um, seems to make it stand out. Okay, let's take our little antenna our adapter kit and see what we would need. First up, we'll need a we'll need the adapter for the center to connect the two parts on. We will need a SMA female. Uh, there is one, and we will have to connect it to our um, DC. Sorry, our BNC connector. These two simply fit together like that simply push in and screw on um, and I now have a BNC to SMA. This is a valuable kit for field technicians. Um, okay once again let's have a look. I need to increase the um, display a little bit get closer to it and let's go to scan we will select I think 450 I think will be the center the center band okay and let's do a, a scan Judging off of this results already, this antenna is actually very nice. Um, it is fairly flat throughout the band. No surprises there with the best SWR probably being in the low part of the band. I can see it is, it is roughly 4.9. The highest part, the highest SWR will be at the top end about 3.2 I like this nice antenna um, good so guys thank you for watching um, make sure you subscribe um, share and like these videos so you can receive the updates as we do more um, reviews I will just put the antenna back There you go thanks for watching make sure you subscribe like even comment i will reply to all the comments made thanks thank you for watching another great review from acecoms please like subscribe and share our videos also feel free to send a comment request for a review or just a shout out stay safe Till next time.